Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's down this path. We got some floor masters. Don't let them grab you or they will suck you back to the start and I will not refuse to waste that much time for the cameras. Oh yeah! Not that I need green kinstone pieces because I got a really good uh, farming, yeah, farming area, excuse me. But uh, it's always nice to see a kinstone drop anyway, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna look ahead just to see what I need to plan for. No, you don't. Some skull heads like to pop off of the ground and actually attack you directly. But uh, wait a second. Do I have to be small? Hmm. I don't. I think. Well, I do have to be small to get on that side, of course. That's a given. So let's just do that. And start with these puzzles, I suppose. Oh, wait a second. I don't have any way to transform back, but I just remembered. Ah! There's a hole. Oh, wait, there isn't a hole. Wait a second. Where is there. A hole that I need. Hmm. 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 I guess I'm gonna have to do. Oh, okay. I derped. I am supposed to go through this as normal link first, because I can just. I can just do. I can just keep getting hit by spikes. <laughs> I can just go inside the hole like this. Yeah, for some reason I was taking consideration to the holes as if they were um, an obstacle that were that was an uh, issue for the little guy and yeah, you know, the minish form. Alright, for this puzzle, pay attention to the pattern here and match it up to the... Uh, match it up to the switches here because you need to know which corners have which switches so that you can do this and put that there put that there now be mindful of where duplicate link is so he doesn't get all cornered and grab your key uh there's a locked door down here and whoop. Whoop. <laughs> so i'll just go right through and... oh, this is kind of coming near the end of the dungeon, actually. Hey, wait a second, I didn't... Oh, yeah, okay. This is why I needed to unlock this door first, because now I know I now I need to go through here again as Minish Link. So... Now I remember... I say that a lot in my walkthroughs, <laughs> but I always 100%. Uh, except my, my early, early days stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Aha! Ho -ho. And now I can go inside the mouse hole and get the prizes within. Oh, this is kind of a tricky room, actually. You got this button, which makes a treasure chest appear at the upper... Oh, it's a key. I thought it was a treasure chest at the upper right corner. Uh, you gotta be mindful of where you dig here. Just be careful. There we go. And if you want to get the remainder of this room spoils, you kind of have to release some, maybe. At least I think. Well, maybe you don't. I guess not. Yep, I'm... I think I'm just gonna leave those spark guys there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One hole. One hole left. It's another fake. Ah, they keep tricking me. <laughs> Alright, now... You'll notice that there was another uh, little transformation thingy there. Well, what they want you to do is jump down here. This is another gameplay flow thing. In that they just put that there so you don't have to backtrack to the other one. Very handy. And I don't think I get anything for killing you guys off, but I'm just going to do it for the fun of it. Well, I could get kinstones, I suppose. Oh, pay attention to this ledge right up here. They're sort of uh, hinting that you're supposed to remember this because it kind of has a, has a skull shape and that might catch your eye. So just remember that. Remember that well. Okay. 
How am I gonna do this? Release one and just go straight through the center, I guess? Ah, Moldorms are such an unpredictable unpred enemy. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, here's something that's interesting, though. Um, for some... Wow, that was a lot of rupees in that one jar. For some... Well, it was one big rupee, but still, that's a rare drop. Uh, you'll notice that it can't come out of that hole. Well, that's because, for some reason, they can't go through the appearance of objects, if that makes sense. Like, you see, this part is connected to this part, but you can actually walk through here. But, I mean, it's connected in appearance, not in pathway. But if I dug out these squares, now it'll be able to move around. I don't know why it's like that. In fact, it doesn't really make all that much sense, since I noticed that the spark enemies can do that. But, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to abuse the way the game um, handles enemies, I mean certain enemies like that, go right ahead. Okay. And let's go up here, and now you're going to see a similar formation of holes. Oh, oh not yet. <laughs> My bad. It's in the next room, and I have the key for that already. Nope, nope, yep, yep. I'm just going to cut these up for the heck of it. All right, let's go through this room, and now we're gonna see the holes. See that? Looks just like the skull on the other floor, right? Well, if you remember the layout, you want to drop down the right hole. Voila! And this gives you the big key. That's... Yeah, that's about it for the dungeon. <laughs> I, I guess I'll look at the side rooms, uh, back at the main floor, of course. But otherwise, I'm... Pretty much done. Oh wait, can I demonstrate? Oh, I, the, the enemies didn't even respawn here. I wanted to go back to the beginning. I could have used a, uh, used a little demonstration of the floor masters for the fun of it. But alas, they didn't respawn. Oh. Alright, so... Let's go and go to the very, very far right path. Not this one just yet. Oh, wait, actually, I, that is the one. <laughs> My memory again! It fails me. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Yep, that's what I thought. I need to go back up here and then fall through as Minish Link. Oh, and I can get this now. Yeah! Okie dokie. I hope, I don't, I hope I don't miss something like that. I don't think so, because you'll notice that the these sorts of rooms, they don't appear on the map. As I said, the map is a really weird thing. I don't know why, so it's kind of hard to tell at times if you're actually getting everything... F no! Don't do that! <laughs> so it's kind of hard to tell at times if you are actually getting everything from all the rooms. I... I'm pretty much assuming that I am going to be able to, and, wa oh, and watch us gonna abuse- oops. I was gonna say I'm gonna abuse that just to show you how enemies react again. See that? It- the other sparks didn't react like this. They would have went through that hole, like where I'm standing here. But this one doesn't. I don't understand why some enemies do that and, and others don't. Alright, got myself a red kinstone piece. This, this dungeon is loaded with them. I got myself kind of trapped there because I wanted to look around, but whatever. I wouldn't have need, I wouldn't have been able to even dig there because it would have just went around the corner. Um, okay, here we go. Ah! This is where I need to drop down as minish form. So transform! And drop down the hole. All you need to do is fall down holes, and you will win. Well, okay, not really. <laughs> but you will be able to get this heart piece. Voila. Needless to say, I didn't try any of these blocks when I was through here a minute ago, because none of them will be pushable from that side. I already know that because from my other playthroughs. So let's just... Yeah, let's not even do that dance. <laughs> Which one of these? It was that one, okay. I forgot if it was the tip one or if it was the one on the left, and it was the one on the left. Alright, um... That's about it! I guess I'll be finishing this dungeon in two parts, wow. <laughs> Wait a second, um... 
this one leads to... Yes, this is correct. You go down here now. And now... You can start digging this out. Pulling this out. Pushing is faster than pulling, so I'm just gonna go around. Bloop. And blue kinstone piece. And this pathway leads over to the boss. Wait a second. Holes. 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 Just in case there's chests there. Whenever you see there's a there's a hole in the formation of this dirt, just check there to see if there's a prize there. Push this aside to make a warp appear, which can take you all the way back to the beginning if you'd like. But I'm not going to do that. Because, well, I already did that, but, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not, I don't need to go back to the beginning. I'm going to do the boss and finish this dungeon. Uh, you got some recovery stuff. I did not mean to hit the spark. Oh, here's something interesting about the sparks as well. If you destroy the last of whatever they're holding on to, and they're moving in that direction, they will continue moving on to the, that, in that direction until they latch on to something else. Watch us. I'm going to make, make it go left. Whoops. And it starts attaching to the other skulls on the other side, just because that was the only thing it had to grab onto. Ah! And now if you take away... <laughs> I, just want, I just wanted to show this to the people. Is this going to be impossible? At least with the sword? How if I do that? Will that work? Is that acceptable? No! Uh, how about... Gust Jar. Yeah, there we go. And now they're going to go around the edges of the room. <laughs> so it gave me so many issues, but whatever. I kind of wish that one of those drops was a fairy, in all honesty. I'm not going to have all that much issue with the boss, but, you know, it's it's still a thing of just in case. You never know. I'm always one of those kinds of ultra paranoid people. <laughs> At least when it comes to... Uh, um, not... not, not not paranoid, I guess that's the wrong word. Uh, it's more like uh, self-conscious, I guess you could say, about f the flow of things in the videos. Alright, you can probably guess what you have to do here. Shoot the eyes out in the hand. Oh, and this boss's name is Mazal. Ah! Don't do that. And once you do that, <laughs> don't let yourself get squished. It's okay if you get hit a couple of times, don't worry. And... There we go. Just get the hang of the moves. And once it, you stun it by dismant well, not dismantling, disabling its hands, go inside its mouth and you're going to find an eye. This is where its weakness is actually. Where its weakness actually is. Don't pull me! No! Dang crane game! You are always the bane of my existence. I'm going to go around this way. Aha! Uh oh, I'm going to be underneath it, aren't I? Aha! And oh, geez. How did I get hit by that? I, was, I thought I was out of the range. Stop. Don't do that. Bad hands. Bad. No, you don't. Just pay attention to their movements and find a nice point to attack. You don't have to worry about doing this very quickly. You can be very patient with it. It's not a hard boss at all. That's, it's kind of weird that I would even think that I would need a fairy to beat this boss, in all honesty. <laughs> Uh, now you gotta look around the room and see where the markings are on the floor where the eye is. That's not where the eye is. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There it is! Attack, 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 attack. You always have plenty of time to search all six, so don't worry about being thrown out before you run out of time, before that crane game hand comes back in play. And once again, I flubbed my, <laughs> my exiting of the Minish Link form. And there is a bug crawling around on the floor. Don't know why you'd care to know about that, but I just thought you might. <laughs> I don't care to kill the bug at the moment in time for obvious reasons. I forgot that it transforms me back to the Minish if I get hit by that beam. Whoopsie. Because I haven't gotten hit by that beam in quite a while, actually. No beetles. No beetles. Bad beetles. Yeah, it's got all sorts of attacks, but none of them should really throw you off all that much, because there, there, it's just nothing like out of the ordinary that would really throw you off your game. Mm, nope, nope. Which one? Which one? Which one? Come on now. Which one? Which one? Oh, wait, wait. Kept digging too fast. 
It's over. Voila. Grab your heart piece. Well, heart container. And we got yet another heart to add. Add to it. Uh, by the way, hitting these will give you all sorts of stuff that might help you defeat the boss. Like if you run out of arrows, you can hit them. The boss will also eventually... I mean, uh, like the drops... Uh, from the enemies that the, the boss spawns can possibly drop arrows as well in case you're low on them. Anyway, I, I, I defeated the boss so fast that I didn't even have time to think of my strategy. Alright, let's see if the element is up here. Well, where, what is this? We are the tribe of the winds. Long have we lived with the winds. We have mastered them. Now we join them together. With the great winds at our backs, we head for the skies. Those who come seeking our power must play the notes of Zephyr teaches. May they lead you onward to the power that you seek. It's the Ocarina of Wind! North, south, east, and west are all just a breath away. I do believe this is where the Tribe of Winds once lived. Hmm, so they left for the heavens and taken their element with them. Yep, the element wasn't here, but we got a really handy item out of it. Well, actually two, the Mole Mitts as well as the Ocarina of Wind. It looks like the Wind element is beyond our reach for the time being. We have no choice but to press on. Let's get out of here. Whee! Oh, and as long as I'm back over here, I should do something before I end off the part. The element was not here, but at least we now have a clue to its whereabouts. We must use the Ocarina of Wind to open a new path. Well, there's no point in standing around. Go get that last element! I shall do, but before I end off parts, I would like to do, do something that I forgot. Transform here and go back through this path. You might have noticed that there's a couple of vines. Or maybe you didn't, maybe you thought they were detailed, but yeah, they are climbable vines if you are in the Minish form. And just keep following this path, keep following it, keep following it, and you'll eventually come to this little hole here. Go inside it, and no you don't. No you don't. Look at what's the at the end of the tunnel. Oh yes, oh I almost fell down that hole. I wasn't paying attention to the cracked floors. Yeah, the cracked floors... If you stand on them for too long, you will fall. Alright, there is a piece of heart. <laughs> Lovely. And we are out of here. I don't... Uh, looking around, it looks like this is a complete dead end. So, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to backtrack to that Minish transformation portal thingy. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.